How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood transgender medical student and today we're going to be talking a little bit about my personal life and how dating apps have been making my dysphoria really bad. So I've been single for a while as a transgender man and uh, recently I've started to use dating apps to meet new people and you know I've never been a big fan of them. Um, I'm going to be honest, I had a really awful uh, first date experience on Tinder a couple of years ago before I got into my last long-term relationship and it was absolutely god-awful and I will be sharing that story sometime in the future. But this is about how before I've been on dating apps, my dysphoria was almost non-existent and that's because uh, a lot of my dysphoria had to do with my outward appearance before I started taking testosterone and once I've been on testosterone for three and a half years uh, that dysphoria is gone. I have a beard, I have a deep voice, I have a natural mare, male pattern uh, hairline. So um, yeah, my outward appearance dysphoria has has been fine and ever since I got top surgery one of my major physical uh, aspects of dysphoria was my chest. So I've been doing pretty good as far as feeling confident in myself. But for some reason, in the last two months since I've been on dating apps, I'm finding the fact that my dysphoria is, has been getting worse. Not my dysphoria from the past, but I'm getting dysphoria about things about myself that I've never experienced dysphoria about before because I've been on dating apps and it's been incredibly incur incredibly discouraging and I think that's the reason why initially a couple years ago when I first started testing the waters on dating apps I hated using them and I ended up deleting all my dating apps and actually went out of my way to meet people and that's how I found my long-term partners and it was one of the best ways and affirming ways because when I meet my partners in person they're able to see me completely as myself and they see how much of a great person I am and what I'm willing to give to a relationship and it makes the love and it makes building that relationship that much more interconnected and beautiful. But because of things like COVID and, you know, being a medical student, it's been incredibly hard to actually go out and meet people nowadays. So that's why I've been, bi I've been back on the apps and, you know, I take pretty good pictures of myself. I'm not taking pictures pictures from a 10-year-old camera on my phone. I have some pretty good DSLR high-quality pictures and these are these are pictures I feel really confident about. But I've noticed that I've been getting dysphoria about things like my height, which I've literally never had before. And the reason why is because I understand that certain standards of beauty is very much rooted in Western standards of beauty. Uh, when I say that, I mean Western uh, Eurocentric standards of beauty, which are usually ve uh, masculine people tend to be taller in those groups. But I have never been the type of person to associate myself with those standards. I That's how I have my confidence. I know that I am attractive. Not because I have Eurocentric features, but because I am confident in myself and I take care of myself and I dress myself well. And it was really, really hard for me to come to terms with the fact that I'm getting height dysphoria now. And I think it's specifically because dating apps puts a person's height at the forefront of their profiles. Like even Hinge and Bumble, one of the first qualities you see in a person in those apps is their height. And then I start becoming very aware of the fact that I'm trans, which isn't a bad thing. I've always been very open about being trans. All my dating profiles say specifically I'm a transgender man. When I go out and meet people, people that I'm interested in, the first thing I reveal about myself is that I'm trans. But when I'm outside in the real world talking to people about being trans, I take ownership of it and I'm very 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 happy about being openly trans in dating apps i feel the same way but when i meet people in real life and they talk to me they're charmed by me they like me for who i am being trans becomes such a small part of who i am as a person people see me as ben the, the well-rounded ben ben who has a lot of passion for the community helping people ben who's goofy silly 
and stutters when he gets nervous and turns red even as a brown person. But when it comes to dating apps, when I disclose that I'm trans, it almost becomes a way for people to judge me and to basically single me out as undateable. I I remember I matched with at least three people so far who immediately unmatched with me after they read my profile or uh, I was talking to someone and the conversation was going really well and then I said I was trans within the first day of uh, the conversation and they just completely ghosted me. So it's been it's been really hard dating online as a trans person and I can only imagine how hard it is for people living in areas where they don't get to meet people as often in real life especially if you live in a rural community or a city that's more anti-trans or homophobic and I don't know it's very very difficult and I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking about deleting the apps where I'm prioritizing my own mental health over the fact that I'm single like I'm honestly mad at myself that lately I've been thinking that I'm very unattractive I'm undesirable and I'm not deserving of love and I find myself comparing myself to people who with poorer personalities but tend to have these western features of attractiveness and that doesn't make me feel good at all like I've never been this this like anxious and self-deprecating about myself and my appearance since I started testosterone almost three and a half years ago so yeah um and I know I shouldn't be feeling this way. That's that's the really weird part. I, I know for a fact that I am an attractive and charming and accomplished person that anybody would be happy to be in a relationship with. And I'm incredibly respectful of my partners. I take time out of my day, even as a busy medical student and activist and all the things I do on the side to just spend time with my partners. But now I just feel inadequate. And that's not a good feeling to be in. And even though I know all these good things about myself, I still have these intrusive thoughts that I'm ugly or um, unattractive. So this goes on to say that dating as a trans person is incredibly, incredibly hard. And I, I almost feel as if like, if people just didn't have these preconceived ideas of what a trans person is or what it means to be in a relationship with a trans person, they could be in much more fulfilling relationships. And that goes on to say that in the end, it's not a loss for me. It's a loss for the people who are swiping left. Thank you for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life. Shenanigans and advocacy work, and I'll see y'all in the next video. This is Ben.